Let me just do a little bit of logarithms. But you're responsible logarithms. You're responsible to to know this math, but I I think I can give you just a short uh, review. I know you've seen logarithms before. Hopefully you have, right? And so for log base ten, we can say look, log base ten of uh, a is equal to b. So um, log base ten and and ten to the are uh, are inverse functions, right? These are inverse functions. So log base 10 of 10 to the x is equal to x because log base 10 and 10 to the cancel each other out, or 10 to the log base 10 of x is also equal to x. They're just inverse functions. And so if I want to solve this, I can say, well, if I take 10 to the both sides, so I say 10 to the log base 10 of a is equal to 10 to the b, or a is equal to 10 to the b. And so, not times b, but to the b. Right? And so log base 10 of a equals b means a equals 10 to the b. And so for example, log base 10 of 100 is equal to 10 to the b, right? So that means that 100, sorry, is equal to b. That means uh, 100 is equal to 10 to the b, and that means b equals 2, because 10 to the 100 is 2. Right. So let me do an identity or two here and see if we can uh, um, just uh, get an example or two going. Um, and so suppose I have log of a, we'll assume base 10, right, plus log of b equals equals c. Right. I want to come up with an identity, a different way of writing this. And so I'm just going to go through my routine. I'm going to say, look, 10 to the log a plus log b equals 10 to the c. Right? I just raise both sides, 10 to the both sides. Right? But I don't know if you remember, 10 to the x plus y is equal to 10 to the x times 10 to the y. That's a rule for exponents. Right? 10 to the 2 plus 1 is 10 to the 3, which is 1,000. It's the same thing as 10 to the 2 plus 10 to the 1. It's the same thing as 100 times 10. Right. And so that's an identity. And so that means I can write this number is this way. 10 to the log a times 10 to the log b equals 10 to the c. But this is just a. This is just a times b. Because 10 to the log a is a and 10 to the log b is b is equal to 10 to the c. But now I can take the log of both sides, and I can say log of a times b equals log of 10 to the c. But that's just equal to c, right? But that's just equal to log of a plus log of b, because that's what I started with. And that means log of a plus log of b is equal to log of a times b. Similarly, log of a minus log of b is log of a over b. I'll let you prove that one to yourself. It just has to do with putting a minus sign in there. Okay, that's a little bit of logarithm identity that you might need to solve some of these decibel problems. I know you don't see this that often, but you should either review it on your own, or you can come see me for help if you need to. So let's calculate some sound levels um, uh, for common sounds. And so this is the formula for sound level. It's, it's the sound level beta is 10 decibels times the log base 10 of the intensity over the threshold intensity. Remember I0, I'll just write it over here is 10 to the minus 12th watts per square meter. That's the threshold of human hearing. And so if we just have some sounds, their intensity and their sound level, we can just put the threshold here. So the lowest sound a human can hear has an intensity of I naught, which is 10 to the minus 12th watts per square meter. 
and we already calculated that on one of the earlier videos and it came out to a sound level of zero if you put I naught into this formula in the numerator I naught I naught over I naught is one log base 10 of one is zero and so the sound level comes out to be zero right that's what beta is and so the next one we'll do is a whisper at one meter these are just approximate let me try that again at one meter right and so the intensity for that is uh, 10 to the minus 10 watts per square meter and so when you evaluate that we use beta equals we just use this formula 10 decibels times the log of and so I'm going to put the I in the numerator so it's 10 to the minus 10 watts per square meter over what goes in here is the threshold which is 10 to the minus 12th watts per square meter and so this is 10 to the minus 12th the watts per meter squared cancel 10 to the minus 10 over 10 to the minus 12 is 10 to the 2 log of 10 to the 2 is just 2 and so this comes out to 20 decibels I don't need the decibels there because I put it at the top of the column and so it's really well I'll just leave it here it just comes out to 20 decibels so a whisper at one meter is 20 decibels right Um, the next one is average home and that has an intensity of uh, I equals 10 to the minus 8 watts per square meter and so you can start seeing these this is going to be beta equals 10 decibels times the log of 10 to the minus 8 watts per square meter over 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter Right, this is an easy one to do also 10 to the minus 8 over 10 to the minus 12 is 10 to the 4 log of 10 to the 4 is just 4 and so that's 40 decibels and so let me just work my way up loud radio this gives I equals uh, uh, let me just do before I do that one let's do a normal conversation and this is 10 to the minus 6 watts per square meter and so I won't work all this out this just comes out to beta equals 10 decibels times the log of 10 to the 6 because it's 10 to the minus 6 over 10 to the minus 12 which is 60 decibels um, loud music I equals uh, 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter and that gives you a decibel level of about 80. Uh, so once you start getting to 100 decibels you can damage your hearing with long exposure to it if, if you work in a noisy factory that has a, a decibel level of 100 um, nowadays you can sometimes get an app for your phone that will measure the decibel level and so if you're near a noisy phone you can download an app and near a noisy sound you can download an app and test the decibel level with your phone and uh, um, know what the level is okay these are all in decibels I know I put it at the top of the column but I'll just go ahead and put them in there 140 will burst your eardrum so this this notice the range is is an exponential here 
but taking the log of it makes it kind of a linear scale. It varies from zero to about 100 when you start getting dangerous, and the decibel level is somewhere there in the middle. And so these are typical sounds, right, in your life. And you really want to, you know, draw your line somewhere here and don't expose yourself to these things or do it as little as possible. If you're using lawn mowers or leaf blowers or two cycle engines, put earplugs in your ears because they will damage your hearing. For sure, it'll damage your hearing. <laughs> Let's do a decibel problem. A lawn mower has a sound level of 80 decibels. A second identical lawnmower is started next to the first. What's the new sound level? And so you might think it's 160 decibels because you add them, but that's not what you add. The intensities add. So what we're saying is, look, the, the, the beta for one lawnmower, I'll just call it beta 1, is equal to 10 decibels times the log of, this is the thing the lawnmower produces, the intensity over I0, right? And so for beta 2, what we have is this is 10 decibels times the log of, since I have two lawnmowers, I have 2i1 over i0. In other words, the new intensity i2 is just twice of what you get for one, one lawnmower, right? And so um, you can actually just solve this problem this way. D d d you can do some cool log stuff here, right? Because log of 2 i1 or i0 using our log identities is equal to the log of 2 plus the log of i1 over i0. And so this becomes 10 decibels times the log of 2, the log base 10 of 2, I won't put the base 10. We're assuming everything's base 10. Log of 2 plus the log of I1 over I0. And that's equal to 10 decibels times the log of 2 plus 10 decibels times the log of I1 over I0. And that's equal to, so 10, the log base 10 of 2, you just look that up, it's 0.3. And so it's equal to 3 decibels. We already know what this one is. This one's this one is is 80 decibels. So doubling the intensity, doubling the intensity of the sound raises the sound level by three decibels. Right? Notice it didn't matter what I1 was. If this was if this was 90 decibels, then this would just be three decibels plus 90 decibels. Any sound whose intensity you double, you just increase the sound level by three decibels. So if we triple the sound, this would be a three, and this would be a three, and we'd have the log base 10 of three, and, um, and add that to 80 decibels to tell what the factor was. So here's another sound level problem. We can say sound B is uh, 17 decibel le uh, decibels louder than sound A. And so I can say, look, beta B is equal to beta A plus 17 decibels, or beta B minus beta A equals 17 decibels. Right. And now we can just uh, rewrite these as intensities. We want to know the relationship between the intensity. And so 10 decibels times the log of the intensity of B over I0 minus 10 decibels times the log of the intensity of A over I0 is equal to 17 decibels. So all I did was I replaced sound level B with the equation for it and sound level A with the equation for it, right? And now I'm going to divide through by 10 decibels and I get 1.7, right, and the units cancel. And this gives me log of IB over I0 minus log of IA over I0 equals uh, 1.7. And so I can write this as log of IB over I0 minus IA, sorry. If it's minus, it's divided by. It's IB over I0 divided by 
IA over I0. Follow that? So you remember uh, log of A minus log of B is equal to log of A over B. So log of this minus log of that is equal to log of this or, or that, right? Uh, and that's equal to 1.7. But notice I can uh, invert and multiply, right? And so this gives me log of, uh, of IP over IA, because the I zeros cancel out, you can do your little math on that, equals 1.7, or IB over IA equals 10 to the 1.7, right? Or IB equals IA times 10 to the 1.7, right? And so if I evaluate that, um, IB equals 50 times IA. So in order to have a 17 decibel louder sound, right, the intensity has to be 50 times greater. So, you know, if this one, if this sound level is 30 and this one's 47, then uh, the sound level intensity of 30 is 50 times smaller, or the sound level of 47 is has an intensity that's 50 times greater.